Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris McKinnon with a WBZ News update. Red Sox pitcher Stephen Wright facing domestic assault charges. Wright was arrested at his home in Tennessee Friday night. The family says the arrest happened after a verbal argument. They released a statement saying in part, although Stephen said things he deeply regrets, he did not raise a hand at anyone during the incident. The family is asking for privacy. The 2016 All-Star only had five starts with the Sox this season due to a knee injury. Two shootings just minutes apart. This morning, police are trying to figure out if they're connected. Police say a man was shot inside a vehicle in East Boston, then pushed into the street near Orleans and Marginal Streets. Police are looking for a dark-colored SUV. Sources tell the I-Team police are also investigating a shooting on Hillside Ave in Revere. So far, no arrests in either investigation. A Massachusetts town left with no snow removal trucks after a fire destroyed all of them. Flames burned through the highway department building in Sandsfield yesterday. The fire chief says it's a total loss. No one was hurt, but those four trucks were destroyed. Today, Sandsfield leaders will meet with state officials to discuss the situation. Now let's check in with meteorologist Danielle Niles. And Danielle, we are talking snow. Not a whole lot of a break here, Chris. After the weekend snow, our next disturbance is already diving through the Great Lakes, spreading snow through Michigan, and this will arrive to New England for some of us tomorrow. Until then, it's pretty quiet today, just a little bit on the chilly side. Upper 30s with sun and clouds, west-southwest breeze, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, skies do become cloudy, and we drop back into the 20s. So enough cold air in place at the onset of this event that we do deal with a little bit of rain and snow mix. Notice it's generally north and west of Boston, though, before the temperatures rise above freezing. We deal with rain tomorrow afternoon and evening. My only concern there is then a blast of cold air comes in Tuesday night. So there may be some icy patches that result from that. So generally tomorrow, this is not a big event, but because it is during the morning commute, we may have a little bit of slippery travel that results, particularly outside of 495, where a few inches may fall. Jackpot zones far western, far northern New England, right where we need it, ski country. There may be as much as a coating to an inch that extends towards 128. So most of the action is north and west of Boston. And for that reason, National Weather Service has issued winter weather advisories across western Middlesex County, Worcester County points west. After that, it's all about the cold. Check out the wind chill value, single digits as we head into Wednesday afternoon and evening, dropping back below zero for some of us. The wind may cause some damage Wednesday too as it gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour. And the cold is here to stay, 20s through the end of the week, Chris, with another chance of a little snow late Friday into Friday night. Danielle, thank you very much. I'm Chris McKinnon. Thanks for checking in with us. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.